Final day of the Bing Bang Tour and a big decider. Mads Pedersen with a modest advantage of seven seconds over the field after a gutsy performance in the time trial yesterday. And we had a gutsy breakaway as well that established itself after uh, 64 kilometres of very, very tough racing. That was on the flat before we got to our circuit, including, of course, the Moor and Keppel Moor up to the old chapel, the Bosberg and the Dendertberg as well. Lots of riders having to unclip on some of the uh, uh, more steep inclines of the Keppel Moor. Basically, if you find yourself off the bike at this point, impossible to get back on and get any momentum to restart. So you essentially have to walk to the top. Walking away with it, hardly. Van der Poel decided to strike out in good company. Confidence Cyril Lemoyne was with him, and likewise was Florian Seneschal of De Koenig Quickstep. Seneschal 31 seconds down overall, Van der Poel 17 seconds in arrears, and they decided that it was time to push on. Lemoyne just uh, uh, backed off, as you can see, but with the breakaway, a strong one still up the road, and by a margin of over a minute, would they be able to catch them? Well, that's precisely what they did. Once the merge was there, Van der Poel himself was not sparing the horses. In fact, it was he and Seneschal that pushed off and left everyone in their wake. In the end, Seneschal also faded on the constant punishment of the Dordrenberg and the Murder Keppelmuir itself. The Vosberg, as well, looks back, likewise from Van der Poel, was all he needed to encourage him to ever more step on the pedals. Seneschal and the rest of the break were gradually wound in and it was a, a big fighting force that was in the wake of this man over 47 kilometers on his own would he make it all the all the way a big question would he have the answer the chase itself including uh, of course his uh, teammate who wasn't stamping on the pedals Dries de Bont who dropped back to make sure that van der Poel bridged over to that breakaway gladly accepted the uh, challenge of the pack the pack themselves were starting to fracture on the climbs but this man just kept tempoing brilliantly he'd had a good time trial the day prior to put himself within 17 seconds of Mads Pedersen but with a golden kilometer coming up well, that meant that there were bonus seconds up for grabs as well. Others high up in the classification realized that they had a chance maybe to steal it from Mads Pedersen. Mads Pedersen himself was starting to run out of teammates who were keeping the chase still very much engaged at about a minute. Again, onto the final lap as the bell rang and it was a select group in the peloton now that were in the chase, around 35 or 40 riders and they themselves started to fracture. Soren Craig Anderson of Team Sunweb, he pushed on there was plenty of others as well that thought they'd get something out of the day. Oli Nason from AG2 Le Mondial, uh, one of the strongest amongst them. Colbrelli was also there, a fast man, but doesn't mind a few inclines as well. And Stefan Kung from Groupama Francis de Jure, all part of the drive to try and wind in the man out front. Slowly but surely, the gap was starting to close, but Mads Pedersen could not hold it. He went backwards. A lot had been leaning upon him, I'm afraid, within the pack and it was to tell on him. Patterson's uh, chance of holding on to the title had gone. One chance remaining for Van der Poel to make it all the way. The final time of asking when we came up the moor, only half of it to be done. But this man doesn't do anything by halves and was pushing on absolutely brilliantly. Bonus seconds up for grass for those behind. Soren Craig Anderson with a chance if he could close the gap and take the six remaining bonus seconds at the line. But his hopes faded as Van der Poel made it home to win not only the stage, but the race overall as well. A dramatic win by a dramatic rider at his very, very best. Absolutely superb, a pleasure to watch, and a man who's supposed to be going to the Liege Pass on Liege tomorrow. I don't think he'll be there, or if he is, he may well be in the pack. Today, he was head and shoulders above everybody, taking the day ahead of Nason and Colbrelli, with Crowness and finishing fourth, not enough to steal the title. Well, it was a great podium to witness, and a great winner that we acclaim as amongst the very best. After an amazing performance.